Uh, my name is Tess Smith. I'm the superintendent of education for Lamar County School District. What does that mean? That essentially means that I'm over all 19 campuses within the Lamar County School District. It can be a stressful job at times, quite daunting. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about a topic today. And that topic is mental health, your mental health. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among individuals ages 10 to 24. That's your age group. The greatest obstacle to the prevention of suicide is silence. And that's just something I truly don't understand. When I have a toothache, everybody's going to hear about it until I get to the dentist and he fixes it. When my sons were at home and one of them had a high fever or broke a bone, I loaded them up and I took them to the doctor so the doctor could take care of them. Everybody's all about the physical. But if your brain is not functioning properly, if things aren't firing well and you're not reacting to life as you should, then the rest of your body is not going to work the way that it should. So what should you do when this happens? You should act. What I mean by that is first you must acknowledge that there's a problem and accept the fact. Whether it's your problem or the problem of a friend, you need to be able to accept the fact that they have a mental health issue and they need assistance from others. Next, be a caring individual. Talk to that person about what they're dealing with. Are you necessarily going to understand? No. And in fact, you're probably not unless you've dealt with issues like that or you've had someone in your family that has. But you can show them that you care about them by supporting them and listening to them and showing true and real concern for what they're dealing with. Finally, treatment. Treatment comes in many forms, but the first step is telling a caring adult that you or someone you care about is struggling with a mental health issue. Treatment can take care, talking to someone can take many forms. You can get on tip text, you can talk to a teacher that you trust, a counselor in your school, or you can go outside the school if you'd like. Shatter the Silence has a new app that can help you, and there are also 1-800 numbers for suicide prevention. The bottom line is that you can make a difference. Kindness matters. Just putting a smile on your face and interacting pleasantly with, with others can go a long way. So be a difference maker today and help someone. Thank you.